G'day. Today we're doing a service on a Toyota Hilux 2.8 litre 2017 turbo diesel and it's got the AC60 transmission in it. While you're under it, good idea to just check everything, make sure there's no oil leaks, transfer case, universal joints on the tail shaft, centre bearing, right back down to the diff. Just make sure there's nothing out of whack or obvious. And one of the telltale signs if these bushes are worn is it'll have a clean mark there where it's moving around more. So just a little hint there. It looks pretty dry under here. We've got to remove these bash plates first. And good idea to give the pan a bit of a blow and clean out before you remove it. And we just take this plate off. There is a bracket that goes across the front here bolts on here just to have better access to it. Drain plugs 14 mil, always a good idea to use a single hex socket. take the filter off. Just be aware that if it's a little bit warm you'll get an airlock there and you'll get a gush of oil coming out when you're removing the filter. And the importance of actually removing the pan not just doing an oil change on a transmission is to clean these magnets. You can see this one's only done 45,000 Ks, but it's a fair bit of rubbish on the magnets there. You don't want that muck ending up on the solenoids or the sensors. Once the magnet becomes covered in that muck, the magnet can't attract any more rubbish, so it ends up on the solenoids and your sensors. And it's also good to add magnets or neodymium magnets to it the cleaner you keep it the longer they last so there are two different filters on these you've got the short one the two-wheel drive one which has got a one to five mil pickup and there's the four-wheel drive one which has a longer snorkel on it 27 mil the so pan's nice and clean we've replaced the, the rubber seal or the gasket and we like to put these magnets up on those little ridges just to try and get more surface area of the magnet working top and bottom to attract any fine metal. We're going to add a neodymium magnet and because he does a bit of towing we're going to add a lube guard platinum just to it. Now we've got the drain hole here and you can see it's up a little bit that's why there's always that extra little bit of oil in there when you're taking it off. And this other plug here is the fluid level tube. You've got to get the transmission fluid up to a specific temperature. I think it's between 40 and 50 degrees on these. And you've got to have it, the oil level, will, or the oil will just be tipping over the top of that tube there. If you have it underfilled or overfilled, it can cause trouble. If you've got too much oil in there, once the oil gets up too high and hits the spinning parts it can aerate the oil and the same can happen if you haven't got enough oil in there. Because he tows we're going to adjust it at the lower level because the oil expands with heat so you want to, he does a fair bit of towing with it so we're going to try and keep the oil level at the lower end which basically means we're going to have a higher temperature when we 
check it overflowing over that tube. New filter, like I mentioned, make sure you've got the right one, not the two-wheel drive one, which is basically flat there, there's no snorkel. And also, always check that the O-ring's on there. If it hasn't got the O-ring, you're, you're going to be in trouble. And we're on the Tritec Lubricants website. And they recommend their Auto Trans Fluid Synthetic LV, low viscosity. But you can use any brand of compatible transmission fluid. You don't always have to use the, the genuine stuff or the dealership oil. And to fill it, there's a plug on the side here where my finger is, 24mm. We've only drained the, the oil looks pretty clean so we're not going to suck any extra fluid out of it. So about 5 litres will go in and then we need to get it up between 40 and 50 degrees. Uh, we're going to get it closer to the 50 degrees because he does a lot of towing so we the temperature of the transmission is usually pretty hot if it was just a normal car then we'd probably go the mid-range around 45 but choice is yours okay we've got about five liters in there we'll just start it up put on the brake handbrake on and we just go through the gears slowly and back in the park now we've got to get it up to temperature, so we've got to get it between 40 and 50 degrees. So we're on the live data, on the scan tool, and you can see there's two temperature sensors on there. Number one, number two, you want to get a mid-range on those two. One's 38.7 degrees Celsius and the other one's on 50. He's also got a temperature gauge on, uh, on the cooling line as well. I'm not sure where it actually is. But you can see that one's showing 47 degrees. And the scan tool is showing something a little bit different. Just go through the gears. back in the park and we're on 40, 41 on one and 48 so that would be about the mid range we're just going to get a little bit hotter because he does a bit more towing we want that oil level at the, the lower mark if that makes sense it'll, it'll be hotter so it'll run over that little tube so it'll be at the lower end if you want it at the higher end you, you check it at the lower temperature and there we go, we're on the temperature sense of one is on 46.2 and the other one's on 50, so that'll be the mid-range. Radio, you can just we just want to have a thin trickle there. Don't put a bit too much in there. Gone down in temperature a bit, and that'll probably do about there. That thin trickle there. Once the fluid level's right, you can tighten that 24 mil filler plug. Don't forget to put it back in. Make sure you tighten these up as well. And we can put the cover plate, or the, the bash plate, back on. Anyway, I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
any comments or suggestions, leave them in the section below. Throw us a beer if any of this information helps. The uh, link's in the description. Much appreciated, keeps us motivated. Thank you for watching.